Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Kelly McCauley, the MES Marketing Manager for Rockwell Automation. Today's webinar focuses on modernizing metals production, and we have two speakers, Jordan Lutz from Rockwell Automation and Brent Catoni from, Rock, from Brock Solutions. Jordan is a technical sales account executive with a background in material science and engineering and metallurgy. He has experience in market research, business development, and process improvement. In his free time, he enjoys rugby, water sports, and fishing. Brent is a channel sales manager with almost 20 years of experience as a re reliability analyst, primary consultant, and technical sales specialist in a variety of industries. Outside of work, Brent enjoys time with his family, traveling, and is an active session musician. Brent and Jordan, I'll pass things over to you to get started. Thanks, Kelly. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome and thanks for tuning in today uh, to join us for our Modernizing Metals production with MES webinar. Uh, my name is uh, Brent Catoni, and once again, I'm the Sales Channel Manager with Brock Solutions. And joining me from Rockwell Automation is uh, Jordan Lutz, uh, the Technical Sales Account Representative. So we're hoping to keep this webinar around 20 minutes. However, we have a lot of information to cover, so we may just run a little bit over that, but we'll do our best to keep it at that 20-minute mark. And we're also going to make the assumption that many of you are already familiar with manufacturing execution systems, so we're not going to get too far into the weeds on the topic. We have a lot of other pre-recorded webinars available that pretty much cover uh, all of the other aspects of MES that you may want to learn about. And we'll include links to these videos at the end of this presentation. OK, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to hand this over to Jordan. Thanks, Brett. We'll kick things off today by explaining why we're here and why you've been asked to attend this event. We'll discuss some trends we're seeing in the metals industry and how these are challenging our customers. We'll take a brief look at what MES is, what it does, and how it fits in your enterprise, and then we'll take a deeper dive in the Metals MES solution that we've developed. Lastly, we'll finish up with some next steps for helping you get started with your MES journey. I'll turn it over to Brent to get things rolling. Okay, so why are we here? Well, over the last few years, uh, Brock Solutions and Rockwell Automation have successfully developed an MES solution for our metals customers. And this is based on a uh, off-the-shelf Rockwell product and essentially, we're here today to make you aware of this solution. So what we've been doing is we're trying to address a need in an industry that we're passionate about and where we've had success and where we've had experience developing successful solutions in the past. And we think this is a great time to take this concept to our metals customers. We've recognized that there is a need for an off-the-shelf solution in the metals industry. And we understand that off-the-shelf MES has not been a focus in the metals industry. And what we typically see in the metals industry are homegrown MES systems with our metals customers. So really what our goal is today is to be the go-to solution for MES in the metals industry. So this is not some flavor of the month program or some kind of trumped up idea. This is what we do day to day uh, in multiple industries, including metals. So what we see are a lot of metals producers relying on technology that's been obsolete for decades, you know, 10 or 20 or even 30 years, and they're using this uh, old obsolete technology for their mission critical processes. So a lot of our metals customers have very elaborate and impressive homegrown systems that are actually quite advanced. Uh, however, they're generally difficult to maintain and they're typically missing some or many of the pieces required to address a lot of the challenges that a modern MES can easily tackle. So let's spend a few minutes looking at some of the issues that MES can help you address. So some of the more obvious and controllable issues that we're seeing in, with our metals customers are things like missed production targets and late deliveries. So these are generally a result of obsolete legacy systems, and they can prevent metals producers from driving improvements in their operations. Not only are the systems obsolete, but the workers needed to support it are retiring, and customers are losing a lot of that tribal knowledge as they go out the door. Lack of production intelligence, this can be linked back to disparate sources where equipment and systems and applications are completely disconnected, and information from operations and processes not available. So there's no real-time data and no real-time inventory counts. Limited production flexibility, this can be attributed back to a lack of visibility into the process where users are unable to track everything that happens to a product from start to finish on its journey through production. Manual recipe management is not unusual, and when you couple that with manual order management, it can be very time consuming. It can also be very prone to errors and result in performance variations from one shift to another. A lot of operators manually develop and enter alloy recipes, 
And this information is typically stored in each individual operator's black book. So accurate traceability or genealogy is not readily available, and this doesn't help when metals customers are demanding greater traceability and accountability of the metals they receive, and they have no method of tracking scrap. So to briefly summarize the challenges we're seeing, uh, many of today's metals companies are trying to compete using obsolete technologies. Now, meanwhile, the workers with the most experience operating and maintaining these aging systems are getting near to retirement, and there's this fear that these retirees may take this critical tribal knowledge about the legacy systems with them when they leave. And we want you to know that a modern MES can help you address a lot of these issues and then some. So before we go any further, I have some questions for you to ask yourself. All right. So are you currently operating with a homegrown or legacy system? Does your organization understand what MES is and the value it provides? Are you struggling to access real-time performance data? Are your customers requesting greater traceability for the metals they receive? And are you concerned about losing critical tribal knowledge as a result of an older and retiring workforce? So we have one observation and one objective. Our observation is this. If you've answered yes to any of these questions or if any of these resonate with you whatsoever, we just want you to know that you're not alone. These are common questions and concerns with our metals customers. And our objective today is to share with you the capabilities that a modern MES can provide and is providing to our customers in a multitude of industries, but specifically within the metals industry. All right, so to begin with, I want to give you a brief overview of what an MES is. So when we talk about this space, what we have here is a diagram that shows a typical environment when it comes to manufacturing. So there's the level one and two space, you know, your controls and automation and PLCs and DCSs, you know, the devices that live on your plant floor. And at the top or the opposite end, we have level four systems, which are the typical functions that live in your ERP or your planning systems, you know, your higher level financials and so on. So really the space that we're going to talk about today, this manufacturing IT space or MES space, really lives between those layers and can sometimes include components of the other systems. So you can see that this is the layer that really glues together the automation and the ERP to provide execution activities like recipe management, you know, to ensure that operations are making the right product at the right time with the right ingredient. They can be track and trace genealogy, so tracing right back to the beginning of your raw material consumption through to the end and beyond. It could be things like performance monitoring and reporting, you know, when you're looking at your equipment and your assets and you're trying to assess their performance or what your OEE is what your downtime is, and it can also be some of the functions that you see in the darker gray, uh, things like operational intelligence and maintenance systems and functions that sort of hover between level three and level four area. And we do understand that uh, metals sometimes views uh, the components that we're going to talk about today uh, to be a level two system. So we just want you to know that regardless of where they fall, uh, we want to talk about the, the functionality of MES and what, and what we consider a level three system. So what happens in this space is something from the beginning of the process. It starts with ideation, which is a, a fancy way of saying research and development. You know, what happens on the production or the creation side. And from there, it moves through to the planning process. And from planning, it goes into manufacturing and then right out the door uh, to when our customers can deliver their products to their customers. So this space really deals with all of these functions that I'm talking about here. And then really how to coordinate and exchange information with the broader supply chain. So in a nutshell, these are the typical functions of an MES. So this solution that I'm talking about, what is it really? Um, well, basically, Rock Solutions and Rockwell Automation uh, have partnered up to help metals producers mitigate many of these critical issues by bringing a metal solution to the market based on Brock Solutions' 30 years of domain expertise in metals and in automation as well as Rockwell's Factory Talk Production Center MES platform. So this is a solution that we're currently deploying in the metals industry with both global and standalone implementations. And we want to take the next few minutes to explain to you what this looks like. So we believe that metals companies are ideally positioned to implement a modern MES right now, you know, as they incorporate new equipment and new complex processes. So Having said that, we'll take a look at the core opportunities of a metals MES solution. Jordan? Thanks, Brent. This all starts with comprehensive data mining from the shop floor up to the top floor. 
MES captures data from automation equipment, software applications, and business systems, and is the workhorse that transforms raw production data into actionable information. The end goal is to enhance visibility into production operations and facilitate more informed decision making throughout every facet of your enterprise. To be more specific, we can capture defects before they make it out the door. We can monitor production trends to drive greater quality and efficiency. We can leverage real-time performance data and identify bottlenecks. And we can view all this information via dynamic reports and mobile dashboards. The last takeaway here is that MES offers seamless integration between the mill floor and the enterprise. When MES completes an order, we send comprehensive production reports back into ERP. These reports document the material consumptions, process parameters, and quality checks that help our customers validate the integrity of their finished goods. As Brent mentioned earlier, there's an alarming number of metal workers nearing retirement, and they hold valuable operational know-how that is at risk of leaving with us. Legacy systems are not designed to capture this expertise, and metals companies are struggling to pass years of tribal knowledge down to the next generation. MES mitigates these risks by providing digital work instructions, testing procedures, and training material at each workstation. Workflows are specific to each station and must be executed in sequence before material can be passed to the next operation. Each workstation has role-based authentication, which means that MES can pull user credentials from training management systems and dictate which users are authorized for a particular task. This minimizes the likelihood of errors among newer employees and enforces consistency throughout the entire production process. Performance management is another core MES competency that is geared towards monitoring throughput and contextualizing downtime events. Data can be viewed in real time against production outputs or analyzed retroactively against events that have been logged into the system. With the performance management module, we can reduce downtime via root cause analysis. We can calculate overall equipment effectiveness and mean time to repair in real time. And we can identify cost reductions by monitoring energy consumption. I'll hand this over to Brent for the next item. Thanks again, Jordan. Uh, so customers are looking to metals producers to ensure that they're delivering consistent, high quality products, you know, especially as they adopt lighter weight and high performance metals. So modern MES can help metals company better manage quality in multiple ways, such as enforceable workflows and instructions for operators can help ensure metals are properly heated, treated, and handled, and products are built to specification. Quality data from different points in the production process support quality checks and help ensure the quality products, you know, such as those that must adhere to regulatory requirements are made. Hold codes can be issued during work in progress, and this can help prevent below quality metal products from moving ahead in the manufacturing process or from leaving the facility whatsoever. As well, scrap can be tracked to gain an understanding of why a product has been scrapped to fix this for the future production runs. Manufacturing intelligence, this essentially brings together information from business and energy and production and logistics by connecting to disparate sources. And when we talk about this MI space, and what we have here is an illustration of a typically uh, highly connected and data-enabled environment. So what manufacturing intelligence actually does is it contextualizes all of this data into relevant and useful information to make it immediate and actionable to decision makers. So the more integrated your MES and MI, or manufacturing intelligence systems are, the more seamlessly they monitor, enforce, and improve your manufacturing process. So this allows users to analyze and optimize processes that are resulting in higher levels of scrap. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, webinar, we do have a lot of other webinars available that cover all the different aspects of MES. And we recently uh, released one just based on, uh, on manufacturing intelligence. So uh, the, this is a subject all on its own. And we're really just scratching the surface of uh, MI here. So as we mentioned earlier, uh, a lot of operators in the metals industry typically manually develop alloy recipes. And this can be you know, prone to errors. And it can be very time consuming. Any information is typically not centrally located and accessible to everyone. So modern MES enables operators to manage these activities within the system from creating and storing recipes uh, to developing their own standard operating procedures, or SOPs. And production processes and orders from ERP can also be synchronized within MES uh, order management. And this enables workers to adjust, 
or to transfer work between production lines or areas to maximize throughput. And finally, uh, metals customers are now demanding greater traceability and accountability of the metals that they receive. So this information gets tied to their downstream systems for optimization of production processes. So modern MES can actually track your inventory at the lot and piece level to help improve inventory management. Visibility into work in progress inventory tracks everything that happens to a product from start to finish on this journey through production. Scrap metal is also tracked and recorded. And materials on hold and finished goods that are waiting to be shipped are recorded. And all while this is happening, it's communicating this information back to the ERP for material resource planning. Back to you, Jordan. Thanks, Brent. I'm sure you're all familiar with Rockwell Automation when it comes to controls and power management. However, we want to make you aware that we also offer a fully functional and complete MES platform and have offered this for some time now. Factory Talk Production Center is a fully scalable and open MES platform that can communicate with any other control system and ERP on the market. For more information on this suite of programs, please visit the Rockwell Automation website or feel free to contact me directly with any questions or concerns. So to summarize, uh, basically, modern manufacturing execution systems, or MES solutions, uh, as I like to call them, can help metals companies gain insights into their operations and get more from their assets and be more responsive to customer needs. You know, with a modern MES, the manufacturing process becomes information driven, and this helps to trigger things like actions or execute operations and activities and rules and so on. So modern MES also enables metals companies to move their standalone and their homegrown custom databases and legacy systems into a more integrated and holistic solution that overall drives business value across the entire enterprise. So as I mentioned before, we do understand that a lot of our metals customers have homegrown systems that perform some of the functions that we've mentioned. Uh, however, this is a solution that we're implementing and enabling our customers to have access to all of this functionality within their organization using an out-of-the-box solution. So we would love to hear from you. Uh, we want to understand how your, what your MES needs are and see if there's any way we can work with you uh, on your MES journey. Uh, we can help you identify the components of an MES that would work within your organization uh, or to identify where everything fits. You know, if there's something that we didn't cover today, um, please feel free to contact us or go to the links below to find more information on manufacturing execution systems. As I mentioned before, we have uh, many more MES-focused webinars that are available uh, for you to watch, both on the Brock website as well as the, uh, the Rockwell Automation website. And once again, I just really want to thank you for your time today, and I hope this webinar was very helpful. Thanks.